hadn't done this for several years, but uh, I decided to because of the centennial celebration. And the coolest part to me about it is that uh, it was a joint uh, halftime with the Mean Dollar Band, the actual the current Mean Dollar Band. So, you know, they've got 450 or so members, and then there's supposed to be 500 or so of us. It's like a thousand people going to be on the field at one time. I've never seen that before. So that's probably the coolest thing to me about being a part of it. I was in the band from 98 to 2001. I marched in the Color Guard. Um, and it's something that, it's one of the happiest memories of my life. Wouldn't trade it for anything. And it's just so great to be back. I came back even though I am six months pregnant for this centennial celebration just because I thought it was a once in a lifetime opportunity. And so excited to see everybody and just be a part of this again. It's just an incredible opportunity to be on the field again and excited about it. I mean, it's one of the largest, it's the largest single organization on the entire campus. And then on top of that, you've got such a large alumni base. I mean, you got 500 people here extra that are going to be marching together. And that means a lot. I mean, 100 years of excellence, it's unbelievable. And there's, there's nothing like it in the world. I mean, our, uh, through, through all the, the different people that we've had, Colonel Butler, Catherine Scott, Dr. Ferguson, and, and then now Dr. Ozello, being leaders of it, Every one of them's had their own style, and every one of them means something new to the organization. And every single person, you can hear the people yelling in the background. You know, that's the tuba players that I marched with, and they—they're a different personality than the group of kids that are going now. But they're all kindred spirits and alike, and it's—it's it's a great program, and that's why. Uh, band practice was on Thursday nights, uh, preparing for the game, and and I, I would go because you know. I didn't have anything else to do, and so we practiced, he did, in the stadium, and it, then it was Denny Stadium, and, on, and I'd go to Thursday night band practice, and Colonel would, would go up to the top, and then he'd run down to the bottom, and he'd go up and down, and, and scream and yell, and one night I came, we went home, and I said, you know, I just don't think I could be in that band and have him yell like he does you know Gene says oh he's not yelling at a, at a person he's just, you know he's just yelling at the formation